wow is all I can say right now. Imagine having an AI agent at your fingertips that is capable at doing all kinds of tasks. Building apps, writing reports, creating presentations, etc. So many things that you can do. Wait, what? It could automatically integrate all of your systems. And the icing on a cake? This same AI agent is already a part of a powerful AI assistant with access to all of the top LLMs, video generators, image generators, and coding agents. You get so much power underneath one hood. And so if you haven't seen this video, make sure you watch that one right after this one, because in that video, I demonstrate how to use Chat LLM and leverage all of its powerful AI capabilities. But today's focus is Deep Agent, my new fave. So having this AI agent, in this case, it's called Deep Agent, at your fingertips, you can do so many powerful things. So what are we doing today, Eric? We're gonna build a JSON prompt 10X converter, great for AI videos, specifically VO3. We're also gonna create a custom chatbot that can be your own personal prompt engineer. It's gonna help you improve your prompts find existing ones and make those even 10x better. And again, if we have time, I'm gonna show you one of the most powerful ways to make some good money. And that's gonna be the form of instantly having your agent create an ebook based off of a prompts database or any sort of collection of prompts that you have. Okay, so here we are on Deep Agent right here. And like I said before, this is actually a part of Chat LLM. You can instantly see right away all of these amazing examples that it automatically provide you that way you could take any of the thinking out of it from apps to short videos ai apps mcp and ai workflows deep research the list just goes on now i did mention before that this is a part of chat llm which brings me to what the pricing structure actually is well deep agent is actually a part of chat llm the subscription costs only ten dollars per user per month and it includes access to deep agent chat llm and code llm and so like i said before if you haven't seen my chat llm video i highly recommend watching that one after this because with chat llm it is going to contain every popular llm model plus the best ai video and ai image generators all inside of one tool and that's going to be the one we're looking at right now but today's focus is deep agent and in my opinion this really is one of the most impressive things now very quickly let me show you some quick examples of what i've been able to do and some other things that you can do then we're going to dive in and do this in real time now up at the top i already have multiple windows windows open because I have been addicted to testing all of this out. Now in this first window, check this out right here. It's called prompt power. What I was able to build is a JSON prompt converter. I can come in here right now and basically type in where it says original prompt. Enter my basic video prompt, okay? Give it a title and then add my specific category. Instantly, based off of my basic generic prompt, the AI agent is going to not only 10 exit, but it's gonna convert it into a powerful nested formatted JSON prompt for AI video. Then over here on this one, I gave the basic instructions to create me my very own personal chatbot. And now on this one, again, highly impressed with this. I specifically said create a 10 slide deck PDF of the prompts featured in this URL. The specific URL I gave it was a URL to one of my prompts databases. It was able to do it successfully. As I come over here and I scroll, you could see all of these specific slides. Now the specific thing I gave it it. We're going to be those meta tokens, specifically those tokens to use in your prompts to create incredibly realistic AI images. On the third page, I gave it editorial lookbook. Now that's a real meta token in my Airtable prompts database. It specifically gave me how it works, the best categories to use it for, what it is best known for, and then the possible use cases. I'm going to tell you right now, this is going to be able to take any existing prompt that you have and possibly give you way better prompts. Okay, now back over here in Deep Agent, I'm gonna go ahead and paste in my first one. There we have it. Go ahead and give it a quick title, selfie girl, the category. In this case, we'll go ahead and say it's gonna be social media. And check this out. There is my enhanced prompt, stylish woman. Now as I come down, it specifically gives me the specific camera movements, angles, types, lighting style, and everything like this. But watch this. Instantly, I can hit this button that says generate video. 
it's gonna automatically create the video for me in real time. Once it's done, you can see it's gonna be in my history. That's because in this agent, I specifically said to add VO3 in this interface. Now I just said the enhanced prompt is good, but it's not a nested JSON prompt. Please format it to JSON nested. I'll hit that send button and look instantly, look at that right away, my prompt bot, he does just that. There it is. There is the whole entire thing. Now, as a quick comparison, this is definitely a detailed JSON prompt. There it is. And then it gives me the full explanation right there. I mean, with one click of a button, it's giving me everything I want. Now I'll copy this one, okay? And now what I'll do down here below is come back in here into the original prompt and now just simply paste this one in and then I could have it enhance that one or I can say generate a video based on that JSON prompt just like that. Now again, I could show you all these amazing situations I've been using, but I really want to demonstrate and show you how to actually do this in real time. So in order to do that, let's first go back over here to Deep Agent's homepage. And what is going to be so helpful about this is that if you're just beginning, you can click on any of these other examples like I have right here pulled up. But let's go ahead and do this in real time. But first, I do want to show you this one right here where an earlier user had it built a custom Notion base. So look at this. It really does mimic and function and even look like a Notion dashboard. So what we're going to do first is start from scratch. Okay, let's go back up here to the very top. Okay, so the first thing I did is here are my instructions. I'm basically saying generate an app with a form for when a user enters a basic AI video prompt, the agent is going to make it better and then convert it into a nested JSON format. Now it's going to be this simple. Go ahead and now submit this one. And now just like that, Deep Agent is going to go to work. Now let's have a few of these going at the same time because this process can take a little bit longer of a time. Because look down here below, it's going to first ask you a few very important questions. We'll come back to these questions in a second. Let's have three going at the same time. That way we can quickly get this moving. Now for this next one, I want to create my own personal AI chatbot. Meaning if I'm just starting out in the prompt engineering world, I want to have my own personal chatbot assistant to make any prompt I give it way better and even give me guidelines and prompt adherence guidelines I can use. So here is going to be my instructions right here. Now I do want to remind you that it is going to be important to check the links in the description because it's going to have a link to try Deep Agent. And also I will have all the of these instructions that I'm providing the agents today. That way you could test them out yourself. So now once this one is in here, now go ahead and now submit that. Now for this next one, I won't double dip and show you things I already showed you a preview of, but I do want to show you something that is going to be pretty helpful. Now you can see down here below, it has one through four. What specific models? If you don't want to answer any of these questions, you can always just tell the agent to choose for me. So here are the answers to the questions. And again, I will say that these are going to be very important. Let's go ahead and now submit this one. Let's go back to our app and now answer these five questions for our JSON prompt converter. Okay, now there are going to be my answers there. We'll come back to those in a second. But look, let's see the status on how everything is going here from first answering my first questions. And again, I gave it the first five answers and now it says here are a few more. Now again, if you want to answer them, you can. If not, you can just say you choose. Okay, so I just basically said you choose the name and then you do the deep research yourself. Now again, let's come back over here to our chat bot and this is almost done, but look at this. It's going to give me all of the information and data. A lot of research is still being done right here. I'm also going to build three more. That way I can show you at the very end how everything actually looks and performs. Okay, so it looks like our custom chat bot is done. It named it Prompt Craft Mentor and now here it is right here. Now, all I have to do is just simply initiate a chat just like I would in chat GPT or anything else. So I'll just go ahead and say I need a prompt generator for cinematic style images. Let's see what this can come up with. Oh wow, now look at this. There it is right there. To create a prompt generator for cinematic style images, you could use a structured approach. So it gives me the key components, but look at this right here. Example 
prompt generator template, Python function. It gives me the whole entire thing in Python format. As I scroll down, I also can get a prompt like this specifically for mid-journey. So two amazing versions that I could use. Now again, if I wanted to have a more specific style or subject, I can simply add that. And I'll just simply say, make the subject of an astronaut lost in space. And now just like that, it's gonna provide me with even more. Now again, the reason why it has all of this data and examples on how to craft and give me the good prompt generators or prompt images or prompts for images is because in my instructions, I said specifically to analyze my full website, metricsmule.com, specifically the blog pages, like I said, because those contain thousands of prompts. And now just like that, look, it gave me the specific prompt right here for that astronaut lost in space. Okay, so very quickly, let's go back over here to my slide deck. Remember I used my realism tokens to instantly convert my Airtable database, just one page of it, into a powerful slide deck. So let's say for an example, everything looks good here. Up at the very top, I can export it as a PDF or a PowerPoint. And so what I could do is, if I export this as a PDF, I'm doing that right now, you can take that PDF and then create a ebook version. And if you make it good enough, you can actually sell it. Now that way you're going to have a digital download that you can sell. And if you want to learn how to sell your digital downloads, I actually have a video right here. But utilizing these AI agents, specifically Deep Agent, is going to help you create so many things and improve them very quickly. Okay, it's done. And look at this full PDF right here. Again, this is incredibly impressive. Deep Agent did all of this for me. And now, like I said, I can have this accessible online or I could sell this as a PDF, almost like a helpful guide or an ebook. Look at that. And it looks fantastic. The design and the aesthetic, perfect. Okay, so now the next thing, let's see how good of a job this actually does in creating me with my own Notion style app. So back over here, I went ahead and pasted in the full instruction right here for my new app. Now let's go ahead and hit this send button. Okay, wow. And it, now it looks like our Notion clone is complete. Now look at this. This looks fantastic. It looks just like Notion and it's actually going to operate in a very similar way. So check this out. Everything is clickable. If I select start writing today, Look at that. It allows me to go ahead and create an account. That way I could start using this right away. And so when you're ready to deploy it up here in the top right hand corner, simply hit that deploy button. Now you can create a custom domain or a custom subdomain. To make it simple, I'll just go ahead and use Abacus's deployment name and now select deploy. So once you do this, once you do things like this in real time, you can actually make this public to share with other people. And so now if I actually click my new link. Look at this. I'm here right now. It's all set up. All you have to now do is simply sign in or create an account and you're going to have your very own Notion style database. After signing in, wow, look how incredible that this is a real search bar that can search. I get these public documents that are there as almost like testers. Scrolling down, I can create my first document and actually bring in other ones. Okay, and now this one, look at this one. This is incredibly impressive. This is gonna be the one where I can get my own prompt enhancer, specifically a JSON prompt improver 10X. This looks incredible. Let's go ahead and check out what we have. So we have the option for enhance, history, and AI assistant. If I select each of these buttons, it just automatically takes me to the place I need to go. I have the selection to do a new prompt or enhance an existing prompt. Check this out. Based on my click, new prompt, I just type it in, select my video style, and boom, I get an enhanced prompt. If I want to use an existing prompt, I could paste my existing prompt in, do the same thing, and now get a 10x version there. And as I scroll down, I'm going to get all of my past creations and now down here below my cinema bot pro to where I can enhance my prompt and even generate a video. So if I came in here and pasted in a prompt for an example, okay, let's go ahead and start with this first version up here, enhance an existing prompt, paste that in, choose a video style. I'll go with cinematic and now hit that enhance button. Look at this. 
it's already almost done. And now just like that, look, there it is. Let's say for an example, I want to generate the video. I already have an AI video generator tool built in. I can hit this button right there on the right hand side, generate video, check back in a few minutes. But check this out right here. It then provides me with those very helpful meta tokens. All of these in purple right there, the technical specs, the cinematography details, enhanced notes, and then the icing on a cake. That prompt producer, that JSON AI video, 10x prompt in JSON nested format. Incredible. I get my full prompt history down here below again via the chat. I can go ahead and do the same exact thing by either generating a video in the chat directly and even enhancing this prompt. So I can have the chat bot actually do the same thing as well. So I have the AI agent doing everything and I also have a built in chat bot that's doing exactly what I need it to do. Look how incredibly impressive that this is. Up in the top right hand corner, I'll select that purple deploy button, and now let's go ahead and give it a new name. And for the deployment name, I'm gonna name it JSON Mule. Now it's ready to go. Anybody can use this. Look at this right there. Transform basic prompts into professional video commands. New prompt or existing prompt. I can just simply enter in the information, choose the specific video style, scroll down, have a live chat bot right here to chat with me. It's called the Video Expert AI. And remember, this is specifically built to give you those hidden meta tokens and a lot more details than you bargained for. And again, remember, there is a link in my description. I highly recommend that you try Deep Agent yourself. Sign up for Chat LLM. You'll get access to Chat LLM, Deep Agent, and Code LLM. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And remember, if you like this video, please remember to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time. Hit that subscribe, cause I'm a prompt star. Come and get in my car, your dreams are never far. Subscribe to the Mules, channel is so cool. If it's the last thing you do, subscribe to Metrics Mule. Yes, I got the tips, tons of prompts and